Welcome. This is All Life Maths TV, where we learn mathematics every day. Today we have an only paired question, okay, which is a nine-degree polynomial equation. And the question reads: x to the power of nine minus five hundred or twelve equal to zero. What then will be the possible value of x? Here we ask to find all the roots of x. In other words, we have to solve for the real root and the imaginary root in this question okay now let's take down our solution but before we go into today's challenge if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now so without much waste of time let's take our solution so we have solution good we put down our question which reads x to the power of 9 minus 512 equal to 0. We look at our number 512. Let's think of a way of reducing it to uh, the smallest uh, number raised to a particular number. Now, we can read, write 512 as 2 to the power of 9. And so, go ahead to express this as x to the power of 9 minus 2 to the power of 9 equal to 0. Now the exponents are the same. So we think of bringing in some algebraic identity. Okay. So if you look at this, we can simplify the exponent here and this exponent here. In other words, we can rewrite 9 as 3 times 3. So if we do that, we're going to have x to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 multiply by 3 or equal to 0. Good. Now, according to the law of indices, we says that if we have a to the power of mn is equal to a to the power of m or in bracket raised to n. In other words, we can use this n to multiply this m, okay, to give us this back. And we can equally interchange this two exponent, bringing the n in and m aside which will give us this. So if we succumb to this, then we can rewrite what we have here as our x to the power of 3 or in bracket raised to power 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 again in bracket raised to power 3 equal to 0. Good. That has not changed anything. Now, recall the special algebraic identity which says that if you have your x to the power of 3, then minus y to the power of 3, this is equal to your bracket open x minus y, close bracket, bracket, your x squared plus your x, y plus your y squared, close bracket. So if it's a curve to this rule, again, this algebraic identity, then we can rewrite this expression, taking the whole of the term inside this bracket as x and the one inside this bracket as y. And so we're going to have this expression to be, or we can say this now implies your x to the power of 3, okay, there, minus your 2 to the power of 3, close bracket, bracket, Okay, then we have your x to the power of 3 dot, which is multiplied by 2, okay, plus your x, your x to the power of 3, there, dot, that's times 2 to the power of 3, there, plus your 2 to the power of 3 dot, your 2. Your dot here makes multiplication or times the close bracket or equal to zero. Good. Very good. Now, let's try to rewrite this exponent according to the law of indices again. So, this expression will give us here your x to the power of 3, then minus 2 to the power of 3, close bracket, bracket, x to the power of 3, multiplied by 2, we give us 6, then plus here, 2 to the power of 3 will give us 8. So we have here to be 
each to do each x to the power of three there plus then two multiply by three will give us two to the power of six close bracket or equal to zero good we're moving forward we're progressing again your two to the power of six is same thing as six to four because we have two times two times two into six places that will give us six to four so if we go ahead to open up this we're going to have this to be your bracket open your x to the power of three minus two to the power of three close bracket bracket x to the power of six plus eight x to the power of three plus six to four quarter to zero good we look at this again now if you check this we can equally bring out our uh, algebraic identity which is what we have here okay so if we go ahead to bring back our algebraic identity so we can rewrite this expression here as again as our x minus y close bracket okay bracket your x to the power of 2 plus your x times 2 okay this is x clicks x times 2 there plus your y sorry plus 2 rather please 2 there to the power of 2 okay close bracket we bring this term bracket open your x to the power of 6 plus your 8 x to the power of 3 plus 6 to 4 everything equal to 0 let's bring out the value of 2 to the power of 2 there at the same time it does change these two expressions here so if we do this we're going to have here your x uh, minus oh uh, sorry yeah it's 2 please yeah it's 2 yeah it's 2 please so yeah x minus 2 close bracket there bracket x to the power of 2 there plus your 2x there plus 4 close bracket bracket your x to the power of 6 plus 8 x to the power of 3 plus 6 to 4 or equal to 0. Yeah, we can succumb to the zero product rule where we equate this to 0, equate this to 0, equate this to 0. Okay, if we go by that, we're going to have here we have x minus 2 equal to 0 or we have your x squared plus 2x plus 4 equal to 0 or we have your x to the power of 6 plus 8x to the power of 3 3 there plus 6 to 4 equal to 0 good so from here we take case 1 we have your case 1 what is our case 1 case 1 says that x minus 2 equal to 0 so collecting your light and so we have x is equal to 2 this is the first value of our x okay so if this is the first value of our x we take case 2 so let's go to case 2 so we have this to be case 2 case 2 all right case 2 says case 2 says your x to the power of 2 plus 2x plus 4 equal to 0 again this is a quadratic equation so how do we solve this quadratically how do we solve this here we cannot use factorization method so we use the formula method so the formula method says that our x will be equal to minus our uh, b plus minus the square root of your b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay let's go ahead to bring out the value of our a b and c so we have our a from the equation is 1 b is equal to 2 and c equal to 4. let's substitute this into our formula so this will now give us x will now be equal to your minus 2 
plus minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 dot a is 1 dot c is 4 all over 2 dot 1 okay then from here we have this to be x equal to have minus 2 there plus minus the square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 gives us 16 all over 2 times 1 will give us 2 so if we go ahead again this we return give us minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 16 will give us minus 12 all over 2. Let's proceed here. Okay, recall the identity which says that root minus 1 is equals to i, where i is your imaginary number. And so we can rewrite our expression here as a x equal to minus 2 the plus minus the square root of 12 i all over 2 root 12 can be written as check our root 12 we can split it as your square root of 4 times 3 which is same thing as square root of 4 times the square root of 3 and so square root of 4 will give us 2 so this will give us 2 root 3 okay so if we bring that into this expression here, so we're going to have our x equal to minus 2 plus minus, okay, your 2 to the square root of 3i all over 2. Yeah, we have 2 at the bottom and we can factorize 2 out. So we can equally write this as x equal to your minus 1 plus minus your square root of 3 I. Okay, this is the second and the third root to our expression. Though we can go ahead to split this. This will give us your x2 is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 3i. Then your x3 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 3i. Okay. So this is third, this is second, and this is your x1, okay? All right, let's go ahead and solve the other case, which is your x to the power of 6 plus 8, x to the power of 3 plus 64. Again, this is a sixth degree polynomial equation. So we're expected to solve for 6 root from this equation. Okay, now what we're going to do here is to bring in another alphabet. Now from here we can say here let um, let's take y equal to x to the power of three because that is the smallest power here. Okay, so if we have y equal to x to the power of three, therefore we're going to have our y to the power of two will be x to the power of six. So if we go ahead to substitute this into this equation, our equation will now become your y to the power of two, the blocks your 8y plus 6 to 4 equal to 0. What we do here is to use the quadratic formula. So our quadratic formula, I guess, is y equal to minus b plus minus the square root of your b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Here we have our a equal to your 1, the b equal to 8, and c equal to 64. Good. Let's go ahead and put all these into this formula. Okay. If we do that, we're going to have here y equal to our b we have minus 8 plus minus the square root of, yeah, we're going to have 8 squared minus 4 times our a is 1 times c is 64 all over 
2 times 1. Okay. Again, we go. So this will now give us here minus 8 plus minus the square root. The square of 8 is 64. There, minus 4 times 1 times 64. Now, no need to multiply this out because we are having 64. We are having 64 here. So let's keep this to be 4 times 64 all over 2. Yeah, factor out 64 from here. And so we're going to have this to be minus 8 plus minus the square root of 64 bracket. 64 divided by 64 we're left with 1. Then minus 64 into 4.64 we're going to have here 4 out here. All right, all over your two. From here, we're going to have this to be your minus eight plus minus. Now you know the square root of 64 is eight. So eight we come out and one minus four will give us square root of minus three all over two. Okay, we can use two to divide Eight, use this 2 to divide this 8. That will give us 4, 4. And so we're going to have this to be your um, minus 4 plus minus 4 root minus 3. Again, recall the identity which says that your imaginary number, your um, square root of minus 1 is equal to i so if we go by that we can rewrite this expression here as our y we have y on this other side so we'll have here y equal to minus 4 plus minus 4 into the square root of 3i okay let's proceed on this other side again okay so now Recall we said, from here, we said something that let y equal to x to the power of 3. Okay, we are having two roots from your y here. So, we take uh, case 1 or let's just put everything into uh, that expression. So, from where we said y equal to x to the power of 3. So, wherever we see y, we can put in this value here. Okay, we can put in this value. So, if we go by that. We're going to have this to be your x to the power of 3 equal to you have minus 4 plus minus 4 the square root of 3i. Okay. Good. So here we take the cube root of both sides. So we're going to have this. Take the cube root of both sides, the cube root of both sides. This we go with this. So we're going to have our x equal to the cube root of both sides could also be written as plus minus yeah bracket open minus four plus minus the square four rather the square root of three uh, okay all to the power of 1 all over 3. Therefore, our x will now be equal to plus minus bracket minus 4, the plus minus 4 square root of 3i all to the power of 1 all over 3. This is another imaginary root of our x okay now in this place we having six roots so the last six roots plus the um previous three roots gives us the nine roots both the real root and the imaginary root to so this nine degree polynomial equation now this is all i have for you for today if you love something good from this challenge give the video a thumbs up if you like what is going on here give the video a thumbs up Remember, this is Online Mouse TV where we drop new videos every day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.